welcome to the garden. The tiny terrarium is really looking excellent. You can see I have it in a very specific location, blocked by the median here on this window, so that it does get a little bit of morning light, but then it gets a really long break in the middle of the day, and then a little bit of evening light. That's just to keep it cool so it doesn't turn into a solar oven. We've got tons of new growth. Look at all of that new moss. You can see the new stuff is a little bit thinner than the old stuff. I think that has to do with a little bit less sunlight, but it's doing okay. Some of them are actually reaching up. And then right in there, I really can't tell what that is. Could even be another snail or some kind of bug. But it might be a seedling or clover looks pretty good. Actually, I can see some of that dendritic stuff. Gosh, that is so strange. I have no idea what that is. My guess is that it's some kind of mycorrhizae. It's just moist enough in these because it's sealed so that they can live on that glass where there's a little bit of condensation. That is so cool. These mosses have really kind of pressed up against the top. So they've reached their limit, but they still look green and really nice. That's my favorite part about this terrarium. And then down here we've got a whole bunch of new growth. Look at all that beautiful moss. It's definitely the coolest part about this terrarium is that tiny little extra bonus terrarium in the lid. Not much going on in there, but it's just a beautiful pop of green at the top. It otherwise would have just been a hollow glass chamber, so I'm really glad I got to squeeze that in. But we can take a look at our clover. Actually looks pretty good. It's cramped for space, of course, but it looks okay. Look at how thin those mosses grow. I don't think they're getting quite as much light. So they're struggling to kind of reach up for the light, but it makes them really thin and kind of leggy. But there's a nice clover leaf in there. Looks really good. Tons of new growth on the moss. You can really see the difference of the new and the old. The old growth was all grown outdoors, the new stuff was all inside. So it's a little thin, a little scraggly, but it's still going. So I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. We're just going to keep it going there on the windowsill. We did lose a couple leaves here, and I may pluck those out later, if we want, just to clean it up a little bit. But they're not harming anything right now, so I think they're fine. They're starting to form roots down below. That's the clover, because moss doesn't actually do that. Moss is just a surface growing. Looks excellent. The moss in the top, which is my favorite part, it's doing really well too. It's not growing because there's really no space, but it's maintained its green color and it looks really healthy. So I think we've successfully trapped a little bit of a microcosm in the cap here. It's going really well, so I'm just going to keep it in its location. We haven't opened it, we haven't watered it, so it looks to be doing really well. So I hope you stay tuned and see if this looks as good in the next couple months. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.